Hey guys, this is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, we are in the International Pace Star. We have not used the Pace Star in a long while and we will probably not be using the Pace Star again in the future. It just has been supplanted by other trucks for any of the roles that it may want to do. And just right now, did it actually uh, hit upon tire upgrades and you know the stuff we were waiting for it but either way at this point this is a an A power to weight ratio truck we had like S plus off-road power to weight ratio trucks the kind doesn't have any engine upgrades it's I mean this was great when you first pick it up but right now I mean uh, you guys can this is a road right in Alaska and we're having issues with it in any ways, um, oh, wrong, wrong way, but I've decided on uh, just using it. it, I haven't used it in Alaska yet, so I'm, even though it will make my job a bit harder, I think it's a, uh, it's a, it's fair to the truck itself to give it a nice uh, send off uh, by actually using it in, uh, in Alaska. I will be sad to see it go, uh, but literally, while well, I can make a case for the Fleet Star, you know, just to use it uh, once in a while, or you know, when if I would need to leave a truck somewhere to pick up a cargo or something, I could still see the Fleet Star getting used. Um, I have no use for the Pace Star in my current garage with my currently available and upgraded other trucks. The Ank MK38 it just blows it out of the water. Uh, in terms of um, off-road capability uh, and uh, the Royale, the BT-17 just uh, kills it when it comes to actually you know, maybe car carrying cargo or semi-trailer on a rough ground so for sure ooh, so for, okay, come on, don't don't, don't stop, stop good truck so yeah, I was gonna say that uh, the Paystar, this will be the last episode that you guys will probably be seeing it. Huh, pluck the struck truck. Pluck the stuck truck, well, <laughs> seems like our airfield crew managed to get our tow, tow truck stuck in the creek nearby. Usually I just call another one to pull it out, but that's the only one we have right now. <laughs> I think you can give it a try. Wow, this is the actual quest to unlock the Dairy Longhorn, 3194. Uh, cool, but for sure I don't think this is uh, something to use the um, pay star for. Well, I'll give the shot if we end up in the area. I don't exactly know where the where it actually is. Over to the parking, very really long horn. Oh, it's right here. Well, uh. Can I, I can't even see it. And again, this is not the most powerful truck that we have. I kind of seriously doubt that we'll have the pulling power to do that. This is really steep. Maybe there's a better route down there? I guess, maybe? That's, that's a tree. That's a tree. Um, you know what guys, now I will make this an, an episode coming up here with a proper truck that can actually have the power and the heavy winch, we don't have the heavy winch on this I think, to make a go at it, we'll get it out. It just goes to show uh, how much my faith in the Paystar has uh, been shaken as of uh, unlocking all the other trucks. I mean, let's be fair, even before we reached Alaska, we've been doing things with the Fleet Star, which more or less made this obsolete. We're at the very least on an even scale, so especially now that we have the, uh, the Fleet Star fully upgraded, we really don't need anything else. Uh, if anything, this episode will show you guys how poorly non-chained uh, tires deal on uh, icy roads. Because in the end, that's the only thing. It, they do really well, icy roads. 
So that's why you're going to see my off-road trucks not using chain tires anymore because, well, at very least my fully entirely off-road trucks. Uh, my uh, heavy trucks, which will probably be hauling cargo on most of these icy roads, will be using them, uh, the, the chain tires, but fully off-road trucks, for sure the ank already uh, is off of the... Um, off of the chain tires and back onto um, mud tires. And again, we haven't even unlocked the race inspection for this, just so you guys get a good idea of uh, where we are. Ugh, really? Another pipeline we cannot get under or across? Oh, that's really annoying. I don't think we have any other chance of crossing it. Maybe through here? Yeah, these. Let's just head up. Maybe we have a, a task there. Usually, the tasks to unlock the, the pipeline access routes are not uh, near them. And yeah, they're not here anyway. And I don't think we have any other good crossing points. Well, actually, we do. We have to go back, cross through here, get through here, and there should be an access route which gets us past this and up to this uh, watchtower. Hmm. Getting back the infrastructure in Alaska would, will be uh, will be a challenge. Yeah, uh, as for trucks moving forward, I'm, I'm pretty confident in uh, sticking with the um, ANK uh, MK38 for uh, off-road. I'm pretty confident in sticking with the CT680 for uh, most of my, with chain tires, for most of my roads, uh, mucking about uh, heavy cargo that's not going to be called by uh, whatever big power truck uh, I'll be using I, I just want to see the stats on the Dairy Longhorn uh, because I, I did notice her, um, in between episodes reading reddit that the caterpillar container it doesn't hold just containers it can hold two units of cargo so that's something but I don't really care about two units of cargo uh, when I can haul it with the ank if I really need to it has ridiculously huge tires so I guess it handle some this muddy terrain maybe a bit better but that's not saying much it also handles really weirdly uh, so I'm not too psyched about using that um, that uh, heavy truck for mostly anything to be fair and you know just through this little muddy section uh, that uh, a power to weight ratio when compared to like an S plus just uh, makes my point of why the Paystar is um, outgunned by this point. And I think that's the point of the actual truck for it to be like a starter truck, so you don't uh, use it for very not not necessarily not use it for very long, but just uh, have not uh, replace it. That's the point of it. Just have. Uh, Good reasons to replace it later on so you don't kind of get stuck in it i guess it's fine to get stuck in the fleet star it's a good truck but even for the fleet star after we hold some of those oversized rigs uh, we felt the need for uh, ever so slightly something better and uh, the ct 680 is a decent replacement
also part of the reason why I did uh, take the pace harder instead of taking the Ankh is for these scouting exploratory trips. It's best to actually have more, uh, better fuel efficiency and more uh, liters in the tank. We are at 146, we already burned 100 and we haven't really gotten that far over here. Hoping we'll get into some, or find some traders or something. Or some fueling stations, I don't know. Uh, I did try, um, think maybe we'll be using um, some of the scout trucks for this. The Chevrolet actually has a low power to weight ratio. I think it's a C or something now, I'm not sure. I think it was higher, but I'm not sure if the, uh, the developers changed something in between. I'll we'll probably have to go check the rest of the episodes, uh, maybe I'm just misremembering. But uh, it is, does seem underpowered, and we I have had problems with it pulling its own weight, let alone cargo weight. Uh, and I tried the International Low Star, which has uh, always uh, active uh, differential and uh, has all-wheel drive, and I and has like an S power rating. But you know, I just put it through some uh, snow, and it dealt really poorly. So. I'm kind of stuck, well, I'm not necessarily stuck, but uh, sold on uh, off-road trucks as my scouts. Unless I actually need something small, like, you know, specifically that what they can do. Um, I'm probably just going to stick around with, um, with the um, off-road trucks for general scouting and even doing some of the scout uh, challenges. Let's look at the trailer store, get ourselves a... Uh, Refueled, of course, going the long way around. And we will see what we'll be doing after that. Lays the pay star. It was a good truck. Well, uh, I'll, I'm gonna record this the garage and bring in a more suited truck, and I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So we're uh, back with um, our uh, BM17. I, I think I've been calling it the BT17. <laughs> For a long time, but uh, it is a uh, BM17. Very important. Very important. So we're going to be trying to continue our exploration, uh, trying to solve all of the things, uh, watchtowers, and upgrades in um, White Valley. up to here I decided it looked like a straight enough shot just to off-road it so uh, let's give this a shot and hopefully not uh, mess up in the same way that we did with the paystar that'd be nice not tipping over it's always nice so all-wheel drive let's switch to a low plus gear and let's straighten ourselves out and up there we go and room Get the better speed with this, probably not. Again, that lack of differential uh, actually makes itself uh, really felt in these kinds of situations. Where you know you're de just dealing with very very uh, soft terrain. I guess 
guess that's part of the reason why maybe I want to use this, you know, use the CT680 to plant even this as my truck of, uh, you know, more or less choice for whatever I may need to do that doesn't involve ridiculous loads. Forecast is covered. I'm more interested in any upgrades. If, nope, no upgrades. Maybe we have a scout fuel carrier here. Oh wow, and a search and rescue. Did we get search and rescue? Is it active? Yeah, I think we did. There we go. Uh, you know what? I think we can totally give this a shot. It doesn't seem too tough and it's just a scout 800 uh, and we are exactly here and shh, we're gonna be passing right by the location anyway so uh, yeah let's uh let's give that a shot uh, one of the other things to put the nail in the fleet stars uh, coffin was the fact that uh, even the highest stack uh, exhaust it had was uh, more or less <laughs> chassis level <laughs> uh, all the other trucks have uh, tall stacks tall smoke stacks which allows us to deal with uh, much uh, deep water and basically that's just a binary thing whether you can go in that water or not uh, it's not like you can just uh, you know dip dip in it a bit and you'll be fine right and the point is to actually be able to mush through it and uh, again that's just one other thing that the paystar can't do which uh, the new trucks can the newly unlocked trucks can down at this point. And let's go grab that Scout 800. This actually seems a hell of a lot uh, easier than I thought it would be. We have nice hard surfaces. Very not a big deal. So let's just uh, turn this around. I don't think we need to re-accept the quest. just starting to affect it anyways let's uh, grab this scout and let's head out
so just straight up ahead. Okay. Thank you so much. I tried getting it back myself, but it kept stalling. No idea what I would have done without your help. Cool. Uh, right, let's head uh, towards the next tower, shall we? The next watchtower. It's uh, somewhere in this murky, inky spot. I did have a look between uh, chain tires and um, non-chain tires, and it, the answer is it depends. Uh, uh, in some cases, not in the case of the BM17, but uh, in some other cases, uh, you do have better traction on mud with the mud tires than that's an upgrade uh, than with the uh, chain tires. So you'll just have to check each tire individually and for each truck individually and see what uh, actually uh, changes there because you may not want the chain tires 24 7 for absolutely everything okay let's get this uh it's the raised i'm i'm betting it for the <laughs> oh oh isn't that sad the exact episode i'm retiring the pay star we finally get the raised suspension for it Oh well, I'm just gonna uh, buy it and install it for the sake of it, but uh, yeah. Just uh, a sad little thing. I don't know why they didn't put that uh, upgrade much, much uh, earlier. Like, um, like you know, in the first map of Alaska or something. Why, why did they put it right here? By this point, we have just unlocked like three extra trucks or something. I mean, the, the base star is not gonna be on your mind when you reach this point. And it doesn't, it doesn't not like it unlocks some ridiculous options for the base star. As far as I know, I think it's like 47 inch tires, something like that doesn't make it uh, ridiculous or overpowered anyway. But uh, regarding the watchtowers, between you and me, I kind of think that maybe, just maybe, uh, they won't even really need it. I, I kind of like just uh, going around and, you know, the circle you unlock is pretty wide anyway. So it's not like you uh, need the watchtowers, you know? Minus, you know, just uh, seeing upgrades and stuff, which may be off the beaten path, which you may just not see or even unlock by just going by them. Everyone just went uh, insane with, wa with the watchtowers and uh, the way to unlock things to do on the map uh, after Assassin's Creed, the first one. Okay. Uh, did we unlock any upgrades? No, we did not. Oil rig service site. Okay, cool. That's a lot of things. Long bridge, something to do. Deep river diving. I guess we can probably switch by that spot. Log station which makes logs, long bridge which probably requires not logs. <laughs> That'd be really relatively easy. So, uh, hmm, interesting. Where are we? We're there. Okay, let's uh, 
Are these trailers? No, not trailers. Let's do this. Let's come up here. Go through here. Uh, pass by this area. Again, who knows uh, where uh, some things may be unlocked. And get through here. Get all the XP from unlocking those trailers and see what those two quests are all about. Another big one we'll have to carry at some point. Another big uh, trailer, probably with like an oil rig frame or something, judging by the look of it. Another mucky, muddy area, number one. You'd think that. Them having like a logging camp would just use some logs to make this more traversable, but apparently that's none of their concern. Just throw down some logs here somewhere. Make it easy for me to actually get my logs from your logging camp. Okay, let's switch by here, see what this is. Because we have no watchtower for us to uh, unlock this area for us. Okay, probably just an area where we'll have to deliver some things at some point. Our last guy scares me a lot less now that I've seen it. I'm a lot more worried about, you know, certain areas of Spinsville Dam or uh, bits of uh, bits of like uh, Island Lake more than I am uh, scared of uh, whatever Alaska has to throw at me. Hey there, you have a moment. The bridge not far from here got torn to pieces by a recent earthquake. Oh, blizzards, earthquakes. Sure. Could you help us uh, put the old thing back together? I guess. But I would guess for this bridge here. Uh, service spare parts, which are you need to do another bridge for. Let's just uh, go back and check that out. We are running a bit low on fuel though, so uh, let's see what we can do about that. Maybe there's a fuel station somewhere, or if nothing else, we can totally return to the trader station and get ourselves some uh, some fuel.
that signage back there was totally poor. It took me a bit to realize why it is so poor. Like, you don't put the sign on the left. You put the sign on the right if you care as you're facing it, right? Uh, see, like, like the last earthquake took out quite a few of the old bridges around these parts. Uh, this one never was all that rabble to begin with, but now it's nothing but a pile of planks. Give us a hand there, will you? Well, if, if it's a plank bridge... Uh, what was this? Uh, long bridge. Wooden planks. I'm pretty sure we can get wooden planks from the logging station. Thank you very much. And service spare parts. That's gonna be from the service hub again. But we're not gonna be bothering with that yet. Let's just uh, unlock these trailers. Is that? Are those ser service spare parts right there? Oops. Ow. That was a bonk. Thankfully, we have the repair station right here. Uh, isn't this a repair station? Shouldn't this repair? Oil rig service site. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, and that was a scout field carrier. Actually, we should have unlocked. Uh, cyber trailer to whatever these may be. Uh, I think those are service spare parts. Yeah, those are two service spare parts, so we can totally deliver the, those there. Um, hmm. But we do not have any empty trailer. Hmm. 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 Well, at least we know that the, we, ha we can use these service spare parts, we don't have to get them. Oh, actually, we can use those if we really, really want to solve this bridge here. Because through here, we still have an option. I mean, this is fine to cross and traverse, I guess. But we can totally uh, use these two, and then we can get uh, the logs there and make a bit of a well, make a bit of an efficient run. So, oop, wrong way. Let's uh, scout out that fuel trailer and actually refuel. Break, refuel, everything, thank you very much. Let's head back and let's reverse right into that, uh, that trailer. matter of how much uh, cargo matters, you know? Cargo management, let's solve this bridge, get some XP and some cash for it. There we go. Not too shabby, my friend, let's hope it lasts. Thanks for your time. You're very much welcome, dear sir. Uh, we can totally swing by the log station and deliver the first logs there, but um, we're reaching pretty much the 40 minute mark here and don't want to keep you guys uh, on too long. So uh, I'm going to be doing that off screen because it's relatively just busy work. And I will see you guys back here again uh, with the um, BM-17, uh, finishing up the explore and upgrade, unlock of uh from white valley anyways uh thank you guys for watching if you like this video uh show me a like throw me a subscribe on my channel i am uploading uh snowrunner videos uh daily by this point for like almost 
two months. I don't know. It's been a long time by this point. And um, I'm only getting better at this, apparently. <laughs> Either way, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.